Hey everyone, this is Jonathan welcoming you to another Proto Tech Tip. This week, we'll take a closer look at the ink fill font constraints during the engrave and fill process. If your parts require engrave and fill in order to meet mill standard 130 or any other standards, you're not going to want to miss this one. To revolutionize your workflow and simplify your part, part sourcing, at Protocase we've developed a unique one-stop shop mass custom manufacturing process that's ultra fast, flexible, and easy. This includes adding engrave and fill to your part within a lead time of just two to three days. Now, to ensure that you get your fully finished part panel or enclosure in your hands as fast as possible, it is important to take note of certain constraints while designing. In this video, we'll go through these constraints. By understanding these limitations, you can reduce design time and cut down on iterations. The first constraint we'll talk about is minimum font size. If your text is too small, it is at risk of becoming illegible after the engraving process. Therefore, we advise maintaining your text size above the minimum recommended threshold. We'll explore these recommended figures in more depth shortly. The next constraint you need to keep in mind is character spacing. You could describe managing this as a balancing act. If characters are too close, then they might bleed into each other after fill. On the other hand, if they are far apart, your text could become just disjointed, affecting readability. Another tip is to stick with uppercase letters where possible. Lowercase letters have varying stroke widths, which will display less consistently than uppercase letters. Sticking with uppercase where possible will result in a more consistent final product. Depending on whether you use Adobe Illustrator or other software, including our own Protocase Designer, you will have different constraints. This is because we can adjust the character spacing of Illustrator files to meet the spacing requirements. On the other hand, a software like Protocase Designer is pre-programmed to rely on the font's natural character spacing. This results in larger minimum font sizes compared to Illustrator. Here are the recommended minimum font sizes for different fonts in Adobe Illustrator. When we take a look at the font constraints for other software, you'll notice that there isn't a minimum number for character spacing. If you use SolidWorks, it's important to note that tracking can be adjusted in the software. You may have noticed that our charts highlighted only a few select fonts. That's because these are fonts that have proven to deliver good results. If you submit a file in an alternative font, we'll convert it into one of these options. On the other hand, in instances where the font is unspecified, Arial Black will be selected as the default. By taking these constraints into account early on, you avoid redesigns, save valuable time, and even create a better final product. When font size and character spacing are correctly applied, engrave and fill techniques not only look professional, but also serve their purpose without compromise. In such instances, information is clear, lasting, and most importantly, accurate. In conclusion, a little attention to detail can go a long way in ensuring your parts with engrave and fill suit your specific requirements and standards. If you want to dig into this further, we have a couple of older tech tips that will help you. These include tutorials on engrave and fill and how to add it to your design in Protocase Designer. You can find the links to the videos in the description box below. If you have any questions on our engrave and fill capabilities and constraints or how to make the most of the feature in Protocase Designer, feel free to contact us at info at protocase.com. We're always happy to help. If you have any questions on our engrave and fill capabilities and constraints, or how to make the most of the feature in Protocase Designer, feel free to contact us at info at protocase.com. We're always happy to help. And that concludes this week's Proto Tech Tip. If you found this video helpful, remember to subscribe to our channel to ensure you never miss any of our tech tips. Until next time, take care.